Have you ever heard of an administrative head whose only degree is spirituality? One of the spiritual giants, you know, that have come to uh, to the full expression of what a human being can be. She's just like that. She's smart. She is a little bit irreverent. She is the one who will tell you what's true about you. And you have to rise to the vision that she has for you, and that's a challenge. And she started talking to me about conscience and how our conscience has become clouded with so many influences. And I said, well, how does one clean the conscience? And she said, through meditation. And I thought, I have to learn meditation. Do you know any head of an organization of one million members with 9,000 branches around the world? I'm organizing every year uh, leadership journeys with my top business leaders. And we went to visit uh, Mount Abu. So we found an organization that had sell, sold nothing but seemed to have enough money, uh, has no roles and goals, no manuals, no variable pay, no bonus schemes, no shares, uh, and was very well organized. There you s learned about a leader like Dari Jenki, who was the head of a large organization, that there's another way of leading organizations, not necessarily by structure and processes, but more by yeah, the power of who she is. And so not by the power of position, but by the power of her being. Have you ever known a leader who took her position at 92 years old and is still active in that position at 100 years old? In 1974, she came abroad. Her first stop was London. And from London, she started to serve the whole world, basically. And Dadi Janki, at the age of 92, then took on the mantle of leadership of the whole organization. And so she started a new job, age 92, at that time. Today, she still travels over the world. Age is not a factor. The spirit is eternal and very strong. Have you ever seen a female leader who is one of the most traveled ladies in the world? Have you ever met a chairperson whose right hand 
is God Himself. हमने कोई कुछ किया नहीं है पर उसकी उम्मीदें निमित्त हमारे थ्रू पूरी कर रहा है. And so I always feel as if I am not doing anything, but it's the hopes of the Supreme, the feelings of the Supreme, that are being translated through me, that are working through me and benefiting others. Daddy, of course, uh, always talks about her connection with God all the time. Uh, and I have great difficulties with that. And I found a way around it. Uh, so whenever she speaks about God, I write God with two O's. And I ultimately believe that is what she really means. When she says, connect to God, what you really do mentally and emotionally, you, you connect to good. And I think when she says, first connect to God, I say, first connect to good, and then we're on the same page again.